Alright, backstory time. When I was a kid, I had constant nightmares. Pretty much from the day I was born to about the end of the fourth grade. And you could classify these nightmares into about three different categories. One of which I realize is incredibly stupid today. One of which I still don't understand and it still kind of creeps me out. And the one and only really relevant thing here, killer robots. Because I was so scared of killer robots, I always tried to flock to games that had them. Because if I could play as a robot, it would be empowering. I'd get to experience my greatest fear without any real risk, and I'd get to just be empowered by being the thing I was scared of most, and that would make it less scary. Except that they all sucked. Well, except one. Thank you. So anyway, I present to you the three worst, shitty, crappiest robot games that ruined my childhood. So let's get started. Alright, Heavy Nova. So you start it up, and you're greeted to this beautiful intro. Looks gorgeous, sounds gorgeous. Where on earth could this possibly go wrong? Right about here. But let's just rewind a little bit and see how we got here. Alright, the story goes, you are a trainee for some global protection unit, learning how to pilot a heavy doll because the term killer mech was way too masculine for this game and the guys who made it realized it. Your job is to complete your training and then go fight some rebel forces and ultimately save the Erath. Way to frickin' spell check, people. Anyway, the translation is shit terrible and the story's awful. So let's hop into the gameplay. Now, right off the bat, you are introduced to a 2D side-scroller. And the first thing you're going to realize is the game is one of the worst controlling things ever. The controls don't so much as control your doll, as it files paperwork away to HR so that they might overview it, then approve it, then send it away to your heavy doll in about two to eight weeks, in which they may look over it and then maybe consult you on what you want it to do. So in short, there's about a three second delay between inputs. And this is a problem, because that makes precise platforming really, really difficult. This game is full of that. On top of that, collision with anything, whether it's moving or has any threat to you whatsoever, will hurt you. That's a problem, and if that wasn't enough, your doll does not turn. If you press an opposite direction, your doll will take about three steps, then turn. That doesn't sound like a lot. It doesn't. But, when you're trying to hit a precise switch, you end up walking around it, never being able to actually hit it. And this happens so much, it's just incredibly obnoxious. Given how god-awful the controls are, I think that this heavy doll needs to go on a diet. Now while you're platforming, you're also going to find these little boxes that contain level ups. When you grab these and finish the level, your doll learns a new ability. But I'll talk about that in a moment. The level design is simple and obnoxious. It's very basic following the longest path to get anywhere, and there's no variance in your routes and there's typically no way around certain obstacles, you just kind of have to go through them. And because your doll cannot evade them, you ultimately end up running headlong into them over and over and over until somehow you just manage to get through. On top of that, the post-damage invulnerability is very, very short, and the recoil is incredibly long. You will fly back if you get hit. So this all makes platforming very difficult, much more than it needs to be. Combine this with the already really awful controls and there's just nothing enjoyable about it. 
but that's only half the gameplay. Once you get to the end of the level, you are thrown into a boss fight against another doll. These dolls are computer controlled, and they don't have to put up with that delay that you do, so they're already at a serious advantage. If you notice below your health bar, you have a second bar that's segmented. This is your power reserve. If you have less than three bars of battery power, your doll is immobile, which basically means your opponent can walk forward, pick you up, throw you down, which loses whatever energy you may have recovered in that time, pick you up, throw you down, pick you up, throw you down, pick you up, and throw you down until you die. And that happens quite frequently. Now logically, you could do the same to them, except that they can recover segments instantaneously. And it's kind of random when the game decides to let you have your energy back. So that's two strikes against you, versus your opponent. If that wasn't enough, I hope you remember those level ups you gathered, because that means your doll has learned new abilities, except they're all entirely random when you get to use them. Now, I've done a little bit of testing, and it seems that some of it is contextual. Like, if you want to do a jump kick, you have to be about half the screen away and kick. But at the same time, the rest of it is just completely random when it wants to happen. On top of this, there's a ranged attack with a missile launcher that your opponent can pull out whenever they want, that you can't. So, you're already at a severe disadvantage compared to your opponent, seeing as they're way more maneuverable, they have less BS to put up with, they can recover their energy instantly, and they can pull out whatever tricks they want. So that sucks. If that wasn't bad enough, you still have to put up with the shitty controls, and that's not all. The hit detection is insane. I mean, it's awful in the platforming stages, but it's unbelievable in the fighting game stages. If you jump or duck, you are completely invincible, and so is your opponent, and they know this. Because it seems to be programmed into them that if you're losing, they'll start running away, until they can get some guaranteed hits in on you. On top of that, even if you're hitting your opponent, and they get up, they can still punch through you. They seem to get some weird priority of attack over you. So even if you're attacking them, they can still punch through you and hit you. You can just jump attack through anything, and nothing will ever hit. The hit detection is the worst thing ever. And if that wasn't obnoxious enough, that's entirely inconsistent within the game itself. Because with platforming, you can still get hit if you jump or duck. And you have zero control over your momentum when you jump, thus making the platforming even worse. So the entire game is basically a poorly designed, rather bland death trap for you to try and navigate because you're not going to get all that far. Oh, but that's not all. If you'll notice, there's a timer at the top of the screen. That doesn't even follow basic fighting game conventions. In most fighting games, if you've damaged the enemy and you've got the edge in health and you run the timer out, you'll still win. This game, if that timer runs down at any one point, you've lost. There is literally nothing enjoyable about the gameplay. Now, as I've said, this game has a very nice presentation. The sprites, especially the dolls, are well detailed and well defined. They look great. Their animation is fairly smooth as well. The rest of the areas are pretty bland, but they do their job. The random enemies and traps are pretty bland, and there isn't a huge amount of diversity, but they're alright as well. And the sound, it's passable. The opening is about the best song in the game. The rest is all just kind of crappy generic techno, but it works for what it needs to do, I suppose. The sound effects are great, though. When your doll hits another doll, it definitely sounds like there's some impact there. The explosions are a little weak, but the overall collision sound is great, despite how shitty the collision detection is. You know, I feel bad kind of ragging on this game as much as I do, especially considering how nicely animated the sprites are. I have to imagine that someone worked rather hard on this. You know what, let me rephrase that. I feel bad for me, having to have played this, and having had to play this when I was a kid. It's available on the Genesis, and there was also a Sega CD release, but the only difference between the two as I understand it is there are vocals to the opening song. They didn't change any of the gameplay, it's, it's just as shit-tastic as it always was. Heavy Nova. 
Recommended only for masochists because it could quite possibly be the worst game on the E-Wrath.